What's up YouTube, Danny, and welcome to a new career mode series on FIFA 13. So, we're going to be starting a new one with Real Madrid, and I bet you weren't expecting this, but I will explain later on in the episode, this first episode, which is going to be a live commentary, why I stopped my PSG, but I will explain later, and it's just basically because I didn't really enjoy the league, and just didn't really enjoy playing career mode much anymore. So, the whole point of this career mode, I was looking through the comments in the first episode saying, do Real Madrid after this, do Real Madrid after this, and so on like that, so... I've actually decided to do with that and since I got FIFA 13 I've been thinking I need to do like a fantasy career mode, try and get all the players I've ever wanted on career mode, the players I've never been able to afford and finally I can do this because if I go into transfers then go into budget allocations as you can see there I've got 77,500 uh, transfer budget and I've got 200,000 wage budget so that's really good, I've still got a lot of money so in the comment section below this first episode is going to be quite similar to my PSG first episode and the question is who should I buy and I've already got a couple of players and I'll probably sell and buy a couple of players in today's episode. So this episode is hopefully going to be around about 15 minutes hopefully. And then we're just going to have a look at the team management quickly. We're going to go into team management and have a look. So the reason I'm kind of stopping Chroma because I'm kind of getting a bit bored of it. Is because I just simply don't enjoy it as much as I used to. Just going to swap Kadira for Alonso quickly there. But the simple factor is, is I just really don't enjoy Chroma as much as I do. Just the gameplay is a bit boring now. So I've just decided to, to do this until the end of FIFA 14, hopefully, and then just keep on going through the seasons and try and get players like Ronaldo up to around the 95 mark. That's the plan for this series. So hope you do enjoy the series. If you do enjoy the series, leave a like and tell me if you want more of this series. And remember, this won't be just completely taken over my channel. It'll probably be around two episodes a week, hopefully. So we're just going to go through the team. I'm going to try and put the strongest 11 in the first team. Okay, guys, so I've had a look at the formation, and I think I'm going to stick... With the 4-2-3-1 wide, I think it is. I think that is. So, because CS is finding goal, probably the best goalie on the game. Oh, below, I've got a replacement for him. The perfect replacement. You know Cavalio, who's featured in my Barcelona predictions. I I did actually not realise. He's actually gone to Real Madrid, so I'll be definitely picking him up. And he's worth around £5 million, so he's quite cheap as well. So, we've got Varane, Sergio Ramos, obviously Pepe on the bench. So, we could easily go to a 3-5-2 formation. We've got Marcelo on the left-back position. We've got Modric. Alonso, Di Maria is probably going to swap for someone. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. We've got Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously. We've got Ozil and Benzema. So to remember this in mind. Take this in mind into consideration. I am actually going to be probably saving around 25 million for the next transfer window because obviously this team isn't going to be perfect. And that's one problem I did have with my PSG. I actually did spend too much money in this first transfer window. So we're going to go into the shortlist now. I think it's here. So view shortlist. And um, we're going to start off. So we're going to uh, scroll to position. We're going to start with... The cam is. So we've got Christian Eriksen here. He's worth 13 million, 81 rated, 20 years old. He's actually been linked with Real Madrid a couple of times. Personally, I think he'll go to maybe Liverpool in the end. Maybe, maybe not. So, as you can see, they're good acceleration, good sprint speed, good agility, and good stamina. And he's got some great stats all around. And he's only worth 13 million for a 20 year old who's already rated 81. So, we've also got Vincent Company here, or Vincent Company, and 86 rated, 26 years old. 15 million, and he's got some great stats. 76 sprint speed feels a whole lot more than that. And another great defender because. One thing I'm doing is having two backup defenders. So I've got, at the moment, Sergio Ramos, Varane, probably my first two centre-backs. Pepe on the bench just because I don't really like him in real life. And then probably someone else to just fill in in the midweek games. That's probably Vincent and company. Hummels, Mangalo, someone like that. You can leave a comment, section, a comment in the comment section below. What am I saying? All right, Gareth Bale here, 33 million. And another great player. He, he'll fit in nicely in that centre-forward role. I could play like a, full, a false nine formation or something. Maybe have Ronaldo up front. But um, imagine, imagine him and Bale in centre-forward. Imagine that. That'd be just fantastic. So, we've also got Gundogan here, or Gundogan, I think it is. That's how the commentators pronounce it. He's got some great stats. Probably going to make an offer for him in today's episode. Or well, I could go for Walsh, maybe I won't make an offer. And just, this is another question. Wilshire or Gundogan? So, going to move on to the two right-backs I have here. I've got the Sigilo and I've got Cavalio, I think it is. Sorry for the helicopter noise in the background. You may be able to hear, but... Cavalio and you've got De Siglio here as well, both good defenders, both young. But yeah, tell me in the comment section, shall I go for the real realistic transfer or shall I go for De Siglio? Who, in my opinion, is probably a little bit better, in my opinion. Just He has more well-rounded defending stats. So, as you can see here, I was talking about Di Maria. is probably not going to be my first choice this season. So, this is who I've got in mind for replacement. Iron Robin, 87 rated, 28, 28 years old. He's just so fun to play with. Four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot, I think he is. I'll just double-check that. Actually, two-star weak foot. I was just thinking in my head, four-star weak foot? Sounds a bit wrong for Iron Robin, Jesus Christ. His weak foot, I've never seen him use his right foot. So, anyway, he can play right mid, left mid, right wing, left wing. He's got high attacking and low defensive. And, yeah, so a pretty greedy player, but still a really enjoyable player. 
on this game. So we also got Lamela actually did a play review on his team this season version. You can go and check that out. And he's another great player, 15 and a half million. He's got some good stats. And obviously his stats will go up because he's only 20 years old. So I could go for Iron Robin, who's already reached his potential. I could go look for Lamela, who'll probably reach his potential in the next season or two. So we've also got Hulk here. Not a massive fan of him in real life, but if you go into his stats, just take a look at those stats. Just ridiculous. 88 strength. 85 sprint speed, 88 acceleration, 84 stamina, and 83, uh, 83 reactions as well. So look at all these stats, just his shot power, his long shots, just all really good stats. And I could even play him in a striker role maybe. But in the comment section below, again, I'm asking you a lot of questions, trying to get you guys into the video, trying to interact with you guys. Tell me, do you think I should do maybe an info, inform Hulk review? So tell me if you want to see that in the future. And obviously, we've got Stefan Jovetic finally going to buy him probably in this in this transfer window. Just been putting him off for quite a long time, probably going to take uh, Alexandra Pato off not really in my plans not really a great player anymore so got Stefan Jovetic so uh, these are the three players three or four players I'll probably go for so we're just going to scroll right back to the top so we've got Christian Eriksen maybe not I don't know but Mangala probably I'm thinking about him because I don't want someone really good on the bench and I don't I don't want to make the say if I got Hummels or Vincent Company won't play maybe about 50% of all the games this season so I don't want to make them unhappy so I'll probably go for Mangala and look at his overpowered shots Jesus Christ just look at those and then you've also got Gareth Bale, probably, maybe not. I see how much money I have left over. Jack Wilshire or Gundogan, you can leave that in the comment section below. Uh, we've got Kavayal or Desigulo, again, you can leave that in the comment section. Probably go for Iron Robbins. So those are the transfers and Stefan Jovetic, obviously. So those are the transfers I'll probably make in this in this uh, next couple of weeks in the transfer window. So now we're going to go into sell players and hopefully we're going to sell some of the players that we don't actually need. Okay, guys, so I've gone through the players. I'm actually going to score for price. The highest price is obviously going to be the better. Higuain, probably going to sell him because he's actually going to move to Arsenal in the future. That looks highly likely at this point as I'm recording this. Still some good stats, but I've still got Benzema on the bench. So we're going to put him on the transfer list and it's probably going to go for around maybe 15 million. We've got Di Maria, probably going to swap him, maybe do like a swap deal for him and a bit of money for like Gareth Bale or something. So we'll keep a hold of him. Modric, who's good enough for now. We've got Benzema, Sergio Ramos, obviously going to keep him. Xavi Alonso, Varane. Could be worth selling Alonso, maybe he's a bit old, so maybe... Maybe not, I don't know, just two yet. But the thing about this team, it's so damn expensive. Every player in this team is worth a lot of money. So Kaká, probably going to list him, not going to use him much this season. I'm sorry, but he's just lost all of his good stats he used to have. In We've got uh, Callahan here. He's got 90 sprint speed, 91 acceleration. Could keep hold of him. He'll be a good squad reputational player. We've got Essien as well, Morata. And we've got Jesse Rodriguez. No, we haven't. That's, that's the other guy. In the Real Madrid B team, there's this guy called Jesse Rodriguez. He's got like 91 sprint speed. A great player to trade with on Ultimate Team as well. So those are the players I'm going to sell. So yeah, remember in the comment section below, leave the players you want me to buy. So we're just going to move on to the first game in the preseason. I'm actually going to play maybe Everton, maybe Liverpool. So we're going to maybe play one game in today's episode, just pick out all the weaknesses, and we're going to uh, just simulate until that game. Okay, guys, so we've got our first transfer offer here. It's for Pepe, 9.5 million from PSG, obviously my old team. By the way, on the note of PSG, do you want to see maybe like a live stream version of the PSG career mode. I don't know why I did that. 13.5 million. I'll probably accept that. But anyway, do you want to see maybe like a PSG career mode on live stream? Because I'm not forgetting about the PSG. I was meant to say this a bit earlier in the episode. But I'm not forgetting about the PSG. Still going to do that, but maybe not as often. And yeah, on Saturday, Sunday, I could do like a live stream if I can get partnered quite soon, hopefully. And then I'll probably do like live streams on YouTube and then maybe do like our episodes. So yeah, tell me how long do you want these episodes to be? Maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour, because they're obviously not as long as they normally or not as regular as they normally are and we're just going to reject this don't know what i was thinking about the 13 and a half million for pepe but we're going to be keeping hold of pepe 86 rate i think it was maybe 84 but i can't remember but anyway pepe is a solid defender so we're just going to simulate until the game up against everton so we've gone off of here for kaka obviously i put him up on the transfer list it's from tottenham seven and a half million i'll probably try and get around 14 and a half million for him so they're going to submit that offer and hopefully we can go into our first game against Everton I think as yes, I play that game up against Everton and then move on to make some signings in the next episode okay Tottenham Hotspurs want to pay 10 million for Kaká so I think I'm going to accept that because that's a good deal for someone who's not going to play too much this season so we've got 10 million off him Ke uh, Cameron Benzema 19 and a half million we're going to try and get 30 million out of them 20 27 and a half million so let's submit the offer and move on to our game up against Everton so we've got two new messages here into Milan they'll pay 26 million for Benzema that is very interesting. So I think I'm going to accept that because I know I've still got a lot of money, but I could buy a good striker with that amount of money. I could get uh, Jovetic, and that's a lot overpriced. 15.5 million, and Barcelona want Higuain. 
As a rival club, I'm going to make them pay 26 and a half million, and they've got a lot of money as well. So we're going to move on to the game. I keep saying that, but just so many transfers. I need to move on to that game against Everton. But we've got a couple of days. We've got six days until that game. Maybe I'll make one offer before that game. I don't know, but I just need to see how the team plays. That's the best way to find out how the team plays, just to play with the team. They actually offered 22 million. That's another great offer. We'll accept that as well. We are selling a whole lot of players, just dead wood players. We're not going to use too much. And another transfer offer there for uh, Gonzalo Higuain. So we're just going to go into transfers now. And I think this will be the last game for Benzema. Actually, Warren Benzema already have left. So we're going to actually buy another striker now. So we're going to go into view shortlist. And we're going to probably go for Jovetic. We're going to have a look. So let's have a look through. So we've got Iron Robin, We've got Hulk. We've got Lamela, And we've got Jovetic. I think I'm going to go for Jovetic. Purely because I've never actually used him on FIFA 13. No, not Ultimate Team. On career mode. So we're going to actually offer 24.5 million for him. And let's submit the offer. Okay, so we've got a transfer offer here for Sergio Ramos. Personally, one of my favourite players in the game and probably in real life as well, like how aggressive he is. So we're going to count off her for 50 million. If they accept that, I'll be happy to uh, give him away. So give him away, what am I on about? But he got in 16 million. We're going to reject that because Barcelona have offered 22 million. And we just need to get as much money as we can out of these players. So we're going to move on to the game. I think we've got another four days. Jesus Christ, it's taken so long. But four days is just like so long on FIFA. It's like... Maybe like five minutes, just so damn long. So Everton, they've got a pretty good team. They've got, obviously, Fellaini. Oh, uh, Karen Benzema's gone. Got a transfer offer here for Higuain from Arsenal. Obviously, that's really realistic. So I might just offer him a bit cheaper because it, it's a bit realistic. But let's just offer 22, 21.5 million to submit the offer. And if he can go, that'd be great. So we've actually offered for Jovetic. He still hasn't got back to us. So that's pretty disappointing. And I've actually offered him, I think it's three days ago. So still hasn't got back to me. And hopefully we can get to talking about him before the game up against Everton. And, and I think it's been unacceptable. Yes, it is. They want 31.5 million. Jeez, he's not that good. 31.5 million, I'll be happy to pay that, actually. I'm just thinking about it. As I said that, so pretty good player. And player sold. Higuain has gone to Barcelona for 18.5 million. So that's another... We sold another player. Let's just go into our budget allocation first. Let's just go and have a look. And look at all that money I have to play with. So... This is where it starts. So in the comment section below, leave all the players you want me to buy. I can literally buy anyone you want me to buy. And I've got so much money now. I've sold a couple of players I don't really want. So yeah, let's just move on into the game up against Everton. So into the game now. It's the game up against Everton and the Santiago Bernabeu. This is going to be a tough game. Look at the team I'm playing. So I've got Di Maria on the left. I've got Callahan on the right. And I've got Cristiano Ronaldo up front on his own. So just to clear up the point, this is just going to be a fantasy cream. I'm just having a bit of fun with this game. Just having long episodes, live commentary, just having a bit of fun with the game. So literally leave anyone you want me to buy, Messi, whatever you like to say. So I'll look through the comments. I'll promise you that and I'll, I'll reply to all the comments. Jeez, I haven't played Korea in ages. Okay, let's try and defend this. Get it away. Now with a bit of space. Can you finish it? Yes, he can. Ronaldo, we won the lot. 15 minutes gone. Look at the strength on him. Jeez, he's going to be like our top goal scorer this season. Just look at his shot. If he gets hit around there, it's just he's just definitely going to score. He's just got a fantastic shot. On this game, so that's the first goal as Real Madrid manager. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed the series so far. Probably going to play this game, then probably end the episode, and then have a look at the comments and see what you want me to buy. So I know you guys want me to buy Jovetic because he is really popular. Every Korean manager just haven't really had the money to splash out on him. I've had the money, but just never really. I've just seen better players. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's just get it away. Give it to our below. Try and get another chance here. Everton are quite weak. By the way, just to remind you, I'm on legendary to any. People who say I'm not. Oh, I, sh I should have showed you at the start. But anyway, I'll show you the sliders as well next time I get the ball. So, guys, we're at the end of the first half now. There's just one thing I've just thought about. So, definitely not going to sell Ronaldo. Probably not sell Casillas either. So, Ronaldo's just so tankish on this game. He's got great pace. He's got great skill. He's just he's so good on the career mode as well. And not only that, he's good on the old team as well. So, just a complete player. Let's go into the second half and hopefully pick up some more goals. Right guys, so we're going to try some of the other players now. We're going to go into team management and we're just going to check through the players. So I'm going to try out this guy called Murata. Maybe not actually, he looks pretty crap. Uh, Pepe, you can come on for Marcelo and then we can maybe put Marcelo up a bit, a little bit. And let's, uh, where's Marcelo gone? Oh yeah, we'll put on Fabio Contra at left mid as well. So let's try this out. Sergio Ramos at, what am I doing? My controller's all mucked up. So Sergio Ramos at left back, Pepe centre back with Varane and we'll swap these two rounds as well. So that's how we're going to go. Until the end of the game, it's just, I just don't really enjoy career mode anymore. But it's all centred around Ronaldo and, yeah, so pretty good so far. Not really had many chances, but still pretty fun. But still, I prefer all my team gameplay. So, 
I don't know what it is. It's just that I've played uh, career mode too much or something. Because I'm definitely on FIFA 14 going to do more autumn team. Depends how it is, really. If, if career mode is just like a revelation or something, I'll play that. And, yeah, so look forward to that in the next game, obviously. He's such a great defender on this game. Got great interception skills and that kind of thing. Abilities, you could say. Modric, give out to the wing. Callahan. Oh, Modric has continued this run. Give it to Ronaldo. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. 2-0. So, we're now 2 up. Cristiano Ronaldo, no surprise in that. So, Team Ronaldo 2, Everton 0. <laughs> so, yeah, so another great goal there. Tim Howard, he doesn't look like that in real life. But anyway, so... Ronaldo's made it 2-0 and let's continue with the game hopefully add a third so this is just to get an idea for what it's going to be like in the next couple of episodes as you can see we're basically going to do live commentaries for most of the episodes depends what you guys want to see and it looks like you guys like live commentaries judging by what you said in the PSG career mode so look forward to that in the next couple of episodes but let's try and get another goal oh Ronaldo gets tackled but we are nearly at the end of the game guys just going to try and hold this damn come on Alonso you're not quick enough Morales is in on goal Good save from Casillas. Come on, get it away. I can't select the right player. Get it away. I'm spamming my A button. Oh, great tackle from Modric, but that should be the end of the game. Just Yeah, so we are at the end of the game. So 2-0 win there, and this is just, just to see. It's going to be basically every episode about five or six games, and live commentary is just most of the goals in the episode. So we win this game 2-0, and Cristiano Ronaldo with the two goals. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this first episode, Leave a like, remember, I will be live streaming my PSG, the rest of my PSG 1 season for glory. I suppose this is quite similar, but still going to try and win everything this season. So, as I said, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, and thanks for all the support. We're nearly at 700 subscribers, which is absolutely mental. So, as I said, thanks for watching. I'm just going to finish with this. Stefan Jovetic has accepted. We're going to offer him what he wants, 100k a week, which is fine by me. And yeah, so 190k, that's not going to happen. 100k, uh, four years, and we're going to make him a crucial first team player. And I just felt I missed the strike in that game. But anyway, as I've said for the third time, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch for the live streams of the PSG. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.